What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about my final thoughts on AC Mirage, the reviews that seemingly go live tomorrow. I want to talk about that in a second as well, and just the excitement I have, but some weird stuff that I've been seeing online of really, it doesn't feel like there's too much excitement on this game. All of those things I want to talk about in this video. Number one, let me just kind of get it off my chest. Like I am really, really pumped to play this game. It, it actually does feel kind of weird where it's like an Assassin's Creed game comes out like in the next couple of days and it, it doesn't feel like that and I guess that goes to what I was just saying a few seconds ago where I don't know if like the hype from kind of like a pushing like a marketing thing just isn't there um look I'm getting it day one I'm excited for it. I know there's plenty of other people getting it day one Assassin's Creed is still a major franchise and, and well Ubisoft prays to God probably every night that Assassin's Creed is still a big franchise right they're relying on it they want it to do well and and for what it's worth I think this game is going to be pretty darn solid now the first stage of that like I said is tomorrow the scores go live I don't actually know what time but I can say that probably later on in the day I'll cover it we'll kind of talk about what the positives people are saying about the game the negatives so you can look out for a video on that tomorrow and you know like I always say review scores they don't paint the full picture and you know don't go based off of you know I always say my general lines of make the decision based off of how you feel or what you've seen of this game uh, but it will be the first sign of okay are there major flaws is the, what what flaws I guess are there in this game in general let's start to just get some opinions on it and to see a little bit more gameplay now does it matter too much well also because the game comes out literally a day after right now that's not to say that I think Ubisoft is hiding this game uh, it's just a thing in the gaming industry review scores generally go live for a game a day or two before the game comes out there are some examples like we're actually seeing with Spider man and a couple other like xbox playstation games sometimes they go live like a week before but most games most games the scores go live one day before i think it's to prevent leaks and different kind of things like that uh, so i wouldn't read into it too much i don't think that because the scores come out tomorrow the game is going to get like a six but again like what will it actually do well honestly probably not much because if the game gets you know a 78 well like is that going to change your mind you're either getting it or not getting it the next day anyway and then the game comes out and you know as I said I'm excited to jump in. I really am. You know, it's it's been a while. I've been out of the Assassin's Creed game for a while. I, I don't know if I've tweeted it or kind of said it before. I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game at launch, at launch from beginning to end in God knows how long. I feel like it has to be revelations because for like the Unities and Syndicates and even Black Flag, like none of that. Some of them I did get day one. Some of them I didn't. Origins I got day one, but I never beat it then. I actually beat it last year I, I went through the entire game and I quite liked it Valhalla and Odyssey my wife went through it but I didn't so it's been a very long time and I do consider myself an Assassin's Creed fan I'm just kind of like estranged from the franchise <laughs> it's a kind of a weird way but this will be the first game in, in so many years a, a decade plus right it kind of has to be that I will have gotten I expect myself I'm putting the pressure on myself I'm getting the game day one obviously and then I'm beating it I don't have like a timeline on it but I hope to do it in like uh, I don't know, a week or less, maybe. I'm going to put a lot of hours into this game very, very quickly. But I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. I really hope it captures that old Assassin's Creed energy. Mixed with the newer stuff, you're not going to be able to get uh, completely away. I guess you're not going to be able to get completely away from either of them, right? They'll always want to have some of those nostalgic elements to it. And obviously, the newer stuff works to some degree, considering these games sell Valhalla, Odyssey. They sell extremely well. They stay around forever because of DLCs and stuff. So you're not going to get away from either of them. They're, the best you're going to, I guess, get maybe is this game where they're kind of, you know, mixed in. But I'm excited. I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm not going to watch too much of the gameplay, even from what Ubisoft has shown so far. I'm good. I'm happy with what we've seen. I like. I don't. I don't think I'm blown away by anything. And I. I kind of like my mindset. Not to like, you know, pat myself on the back. You know, when I think of Alan Wake, and I've talked, you know, a lot about Alan Wake on this channel or Spider Man. I've made like 60 videos on Spider. Man too. Obviously, you can tell even if you just watch the channel how excited I am for those games. And there's a lot of expectations on those games. I, I think Alan Wake could be game of the year. And that's my most anticipated game of the entire year was Alan Wake, Hogwarts, I guess, early on. So I have immense, immense expectations and hope for Alan Wake too. 
I don't go into Assassin's Creed feeling the same way. So if it gets an 81 on Metacritic tomorrow, right, who cares? I, like, I truly will not care what it gets on Metacritic. If people say, you know, it's a fine game, it's not a great game, it's not a bad game, great. You know, because ultimately I'm getting this game. I really don't have that many expectations other than what I said. Just let me get through it. Let, let it be an Assassin's Creed game 20, 25 hours, however long it is. Let me just be able to experience it and walk out and say, yep, I liked it. I don't need to love it. I don't need to adore it. I definitely don't want to hate it, right, though? I just want it to be kind of in the middle, be a, a fine game, a great game, a good game, whatever you want to define it as, and uh, continue on. I think I need a game, honestly, like Assassin's Creed right now because it's a little bit of a breather from all those freaking September games we had, and obviously uh, we're about to be hit the second half of October with again potentially potentially game of the year kind of quality games let me have a game that I really I don't expect it to be game of the year maybe it blows me away maybe it's an amazing game right like I think it, it could have that potential because I'm kind of letting it I suppose um, but I'm pumped for those reasons so I'm excited for tomorrow to see the scores to see what people are saying about it and then I'm even more excited for uh, to be able to play it I guess so there'll be plenty of videos I'll be doing a review once I beat it I'll, I'm sure I'll probably do other videos on uh, Assassin's Creed in general and like I said probably tomorrow I'll do a uh, kind of review you recap I love making those videos and we'll talk about what people are basically saying about the game so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you're subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on and I hope to see you all on the next one